Hey guys, it's me again. Today I'm going to be doing another review on part of my manga collection with another series. Um, I don't know why my camera's not focusing. Here, let me try to fix that. Uh, yeah, my camera's not focusing. That's really annoying. Uh, okay, there it goes, kind of, I guess. Okay. So, anyway, the series I'm doing today is One Punch Man. Now, I love this series. I actually got into it because... I had watched the anime, and I loved that so much that I felt I had to read the manga as well. And one thing I really like about the manga is it actually goes past season one of the anime into what I'm guessing will become season two whenever we get that, because it wasn't last year, which was disappointing. But yeah, this goes a lo like super far past season one of the anime, which surprised me because I, I don't know why, I just didn't expect that, but... You know, that's good. You get to get more of the story without having to wait for Season 2, which they've been putting off for a while now, it seems. But anyway, yeah, this is a great series. What it's about is, it's about this guy right here. His name's Saitama. He's a hero for fun, and pretty much he, he can defeat anyone with one punch, hence the name One Punch Man. And in this story, in this series, not story, um, he gets a sidekick named Janos, who is a cyborg, and... It, Basically, they just fight crime, kind of, and protect their their city from monsters. And it's great because no matter how intense a moment is, it doesn't take much to know that he's not taking it seriously. Like, there was even one time where he was in the middle of an intense fight, and he left because he forgot to go to the sale at a supermarket. So, yeah, he, he doesn't take himself too seriously, which it makes it even more entertaining. So, yeah, this is just a great series. Like I said, definitely one of my favorites. I love this series to pieces. Um, I do want to get more. So far I have the first nine. And I know there are more. I just don't have them yet. But I'd love to get them. So, yeah, anyway. Here's the first volume. You've got Saitama right there punching. And he's got a... Like I said, he, he, he can't take himself seriously, it seems. And to show that, he's even got groceries right there, like I said. And this is a Shonen Jump manga, which means... Wow, I, I dropped it. Um, Oh, this is rated for teen? Okay, I, I would have figured... Oh my gosh, I can't hold this thing. I would have figured this didn't wouldn't have a rating. Or at least one for any ages, because this... I don't know, this seems like something young kids would be able to read without seeing anything they don't need to. But there's the back. That's pretty cool looking. Um, I don't... Oh, <laughs> there's Saitama grabbing something. But yeah, there's that if you want to read that. Now, I realized yesterday my camera wasn't focusing very well, so if it doesn't focus on these, I'm sorry, because I'm sure there's at least one person who will watch this that wants to read them, but if you can't, I'm sorry, I, I can't really help, and my camera's not the greatest, but that's why I'm trying to get a new one with you guys' help, so that would be appreciated. We've got links down in the description for that if you want to help out. Hey, I've got some donation pages, so definitely check that, those out if you want to help the channel. Anyway, here's the second volume. Man, I forgot how cool these look. Um, and that's Janos that I was talking about, Saitama's cyborg sidekick. He's really cool, actually. And it's weird, because Saitama's the strongest hero there is, obviously. And when... Okay, slight spoilers, I suppose. Um, when they join this association of heroes, he's almost at the very bottom of the rankings with all the heroes, and he's almost at the very top, even though he's the strongest hero there is, and this is his sidekick, so... Yeah, the rankings are, seem a little weird, but I think they kind of explained it because of he failed the, was it the, I don't know, he failed either the written test or the other test. He failed one of them, which is, I think, why, but still, it's weird to see the strongest hero there is at the bottom. Anyway, yep, here's the second volume with Janos on the back. Is this a roof? Oh, yeah, it's a rooftop. He's, what is he doing? Oh, he's pouring salt on someone. <laughs> Okay, and there's that if you want to read it. Okay, there's that. And, yeah, like I said, this this series, it's hard to take it seriously, but that's because if I were to try to guess what genre this is, I think this is going to be pretty accurate, so don't don't take it for 100%. There might, it might be something else, I don't know, but from what I've read, I'd say it's probably, no, I'd say it's almost definitely an action comedy thing, so... Yeah, uh, that's why I was surprised by the teen rating, because I don't see any problem with younger kids reading this, like, even below 10. I mean, if they can read, I feel like this is appropriate for them. 
I mean, yeah, there's violence and fighting, but oh well. I mean, that's everywhere in the world these days. So, here's Volume 3. You got Speed of Sound Sonic. He's not a hedgehog, you'll notice. But, yeah, still cool. He's, he's like a ninja. And he's a, he's a joke, but... Here's that. There's just a guy in the ground. That's cool. There's... Wrong. There's that, if you want to read that. If it'll focus. Well, like I said yesterday, if these don't focus, I'm sure you can find them online somewhere. Here's Volume 4. I can't remember this guy's name, but I remember he's really cool. He's an old guy, and he can really fight, so... You know, old guys who are great at fighting, that's, that's usually pretty cool. So, there he is. He, he's one of the greatest heroes from what I remember, so that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> here's this. They're like, in the ocean or something. Oh, is this? Oh, I think I remember. This might be, okay. No, I don't want to spoil things, so never mind. I think I might know what one this is then. And there's that. And as I said earlier, this is supposed to get a season two for the anime at some point, so I really look forward to that. I'm sure a lot of you watching this are probably excited for the season two as well. So when that comes out, I'll definitely watch that. I'll have to see how similar it is to the manga. Hopefully it's not too too different, because that's always disappointing when the manga is like super different from the anime. Because I know this, this one anime I watched, apparently there's a manga of it. And in the manga, there is an entire character missing, which is weird, because I can't, because that character really affected the story, so yeah, that, when the manga and anime are that different, that, that just confuses me a bit. Okay, and then, here's volume 5, and that guy is Moomin Rider, he's a bicycle rider, that's, that's all, um, and, and, and he fights, yeah, um, he doesn't have any powers, but he, he can ride a bike. And there's the back. Sorry for that glare. That's my light. And then there's that. If you want to try to read that, if it'll focus. Okay, there. That, that looks legible. That looks like it focused enough. Okay, here's volume six with Pooty Pooty Prisoner, who is. He's an interesting character. He's very comedic, but also slightly disturbing. Um, in order for his power to activate, he gets fully naked, so that's, that's a little weird. But then you've got Saitama in the background eating some food. So yeah, yeah, this, this is a weird character. Um, he's very openly gay too, so I'm sure some people will like that, I'm sure some people won't. And probably the most controversial character in the series. Um, <laughs> there he is exercising, doing whatever that's supposed to be, looks like ballet and weightlifting with his leg. <laughs> yeah, there's, if you want to try to read that. But yeah, um, I, I got excited earlier. I was reading the comments on my last video, and all I saw when I was checking my notification, notifications, it said, oh, someone said, oh, you should check out the anime dot dot dot, because it got cut off. I was like, oh my gosh, okay, someone recommended an anime for me. I can't wait to see what it is. No, it was Cory in the House, which... Cory in the House, if you didn't know, is an amazing anime, but, you know, that's just too good for me to do, and he wanted me to check out the manga for Cory in the House, but I don't know, I, I, that's just too good for me, like, I can't handle Cory in the House, oh no, that's just too good of a manga, <laughs> but, no, if you guys have any <coughs> manga suggestions, suggestions, let me hear them down in the comments, and I'll make sure to check them out, as long as it's not, like, hentai or anything like that, because I don't want to check that out. But yeah, if you have any suggestions, just let me hear them down in the comments, and the odds are you'll see them in an upcoming unboxing. Speaking of unboxings, I should have one tomorrow. Okay, and here's Volume 7. I think this is... I don't know. Oh, I think this is like the the big evil guy from the end of Season 1, I'm pretty sure. If I remember correctly, which would make sense because, like I said, this doesn't end with Season 1. It goes into what will be Season 2, so that would make sense. This is probably him. And, man, that that climactic bit at the end with him and all that, that, that gets really exciting. I love that. Okay, and then here's a lot of the heroes outside of their headquarters. And there's that, if you want to read it. 
Also, guys, if any of you have read One Punch Man, let me know down in the comments who your favorite hero is and why. Because I'd be interested to see who all you guys have as your favorites. And while we're at it, I'll try to think of mine and post mine down in the comments if I th think of one. I don't know if I have one, but I'll, I'll try to find one. Anyway, here's volume 8. Saitama looks super angry. Can't remember who that guy is. But he's someone, obviously, but I don't remember who. And then here's the back. Oh, what is this? Oh, this actually has like a comic back here. Okay, um... If, you, if I can get this to focus, you guys can read that, I guess. That's cool. I don't know, it's not focusing, really. Okay, and there's that. That'll focus, hopefully, so you can read that. So, now we're on to Volume 9, the last volume. So, here it is. Again, I can't remember who this girl is, but I remember she's rather important. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail, because I don't want to spoil anything, especially because... This is after the anime, like I keep saying. So, if you've seen the anime but haven't read the manga, then this would definitely be a spoiler for you still. So, there's the front. The back has her with a bunch of bent silverware. And then it has chibi versions of her, Genos, and Saitama. Genos is wearing a pink apron and he's dusting something. <laughs> that's, that's not something I thought I would ever see, but... Okay, and here's the description for this one, if you or whatever you want to call it. If you want to read that, maybe we'll focus. Okay, I'm, I'm sure it didn't, but... Oh, I tried. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, let me know down in the comments who your favorite hero in One Punch Man is and why. And also, if you have any anime recommendations for me. And lastly, I'm going to start a new challenge for the year. I got the idea from uh, another YouTuber. Oh my gosh, I feel horrible. I can't remember his name. But I will link his channel down in the description. That's the least I can do um, to give him credit for the challenge. But anyway, um, the challenge, what it is, is throughout the year, I will ask you guys questions. And anyone, well, the first, I'm going to do it so the first person that answers it right down below in the comments gets 10 points per question. And at the end of the year, Whoever has the most points will win something. I don't know what yet, but something. Something cool. So, the question for today, since we're going through all my manga, is... What was my first ever manga? So, also, answer that down in the comments. The first person to answer that right will get 10 points, and I'll write that down somewhere for the rest of the year, and I'll keep that in mind. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.